Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Today we start the table build. In the last video we selected the lumber for the table build. Uh, and in this video I want to start going through what we call bucking the lumber down to their uh, individual pieces. These pieces will still be oversized. I'm not bringing these down to their exact sizes yet. That'll be in the next step. But in this step we take the full length boards and we break them down into the individual top, apron, and leg pieces. The first thing I'm going to do is go to my ends and make sure I don't have any stress fractures. I showed you this in the previous video, but it's good, it's good to see it here in, uh, you know, see me doing it It's good to see me doing it on a real board, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Okay, I am, interestingly, this board at the end, you can see it was painted, so that kind of helped with the drying. You know, these cracks happen when um, the wood is drying. It will try to dry at this end grain quicker than it does at the rest of the board. Um, they did paint this here, and it kind of, uh, kind of sealed it. This is solid, so we only had to take, you know, it looks like I went to about an inch here. We didn't have to take the full two inches plus that we scheduled for. And this one here, if I remember in the video, I said I'm going to burn four inches because of this knot. Obviously, the wood was good here. Let's look at the other side to be clear sure. Yeah, we're good. So, I just saved myself uh, close to four inches of lumber. I'm going to do the other side right now too, just because sometimes if I just start working this way, I forget. So, let's do the other side. And this, I'm going to be honest with you guys, this looks like I'm struggling and it's cumbersome. It's because I'm using a very wide angle lens and you really can't tell, but I am really right here to you and the light is right there. Moving these long boards around with a tripod and a camera and a, and a light on a, on a light stand, I'm trying not to knock them over. So that's why I look like I'm struggling. It's really, a, it's really something that wouldn't normally happen doing woodworking. This is because I'm doing the filming. So just something to watch. Slower, didn't have any binding. Okay, so we had a crack there. So we burn another half inch, another three quarters of an inch. <clears throat> you never want to use a board that has that kind of a crack in it. You know, they're called checks. Okay, we now have a good solid board on both ends, so now we can start cutting our pieces out of this. So looking at this board, this piece here I had designated as top one. Now when I laid it out, remember I laid top one out, I gave it four inches extra here and uh, two inches extra here. So realistically, now we're going to cut this more to... I'm going to cut it at like, the, the finished product's going to be 40 inches, I'm going to cut this at about... 40 and 3 quarters, 41 inches tops. I want a little extra because when you glue things up, you know, you're going to have a little bit of wiggle room there. So I'll glue these up at like 41 inches and then trim them up to the final 40 inches. I'm just going to make a line at 41.
Okay, so here's top number one um, in its rough form. The next uh, video we'll be doing the actual milling it to its proper sizes for glue up. So we just take these out of the way and we move on with the board. Now this board has, oh I remember this guy, this is the one that has problems. Yeah, this board, you know, I, I want to talk to you a little bit about this board. This is an ugly board, but it had one good face. And, you know, I, I excluded another board, um, and I rearranged my stock. I can't see it over there now. And I'm, I'm expecting to hear a question in that other video. Why did you get rid of the board you got rid of? It looked like it was better than the one that you kept. The reason is this particular board's face is good. Um, the problem with this board was the backside was pretty messed up and the board I got rid of it, it had a problem at one end and then it had a knot that was falling out so it went all the way through and then another two and a half feet up it had another knot that was falling out that went all the way through so that board had problems about every three feet all the way through that basically meant I didn't have any length to cut you know I could have gotten small pieces out of it but I couldn't get a long top piece or a a long apron piece out of it. That's why I excluded that board where I could use this board. And quite frankly, some people wouldn't do what I'm doing here. I am okay with these defects. Now I'm gonna cut that one out. But I am okay with some of these smaller defects. I will fill them, um, but being the bottom of my top or the bottom of a, a apron, the inside of an apron, I'm okay with that. Um, you know, if you're building this for a customer, you might not want to do that. You know, you're, you're, if you're going to sell this, you might not want to do it. This is for me. I'm using this lumber up that has these defects. I'm okay with them. That's kind of why I excluded the board I did and I kept this one. All right, guys, we want to do a rip operation here. And, you know, I always have my cut list with me. Wherever I'm at when I'm doing this, I have my cut list with me. Um, legs are at two inches and aprons are at three inches. So I need five inches of lumber out of this thing. And I currently have uh, six and three quarters, six and seven eighths. So I should be able to get it. But if we remember, this guy had an issue here. So we got to waste. We got to waste. Uh, well, we got to waste an inch off of this uh, this side. Now, can I get a leg? No. We got a problem there too. No way I'm getting 29 out of that. Um, so the first thing I got to do is burn an inch. This this may be a fail. This is why we buy extra wood. So this might be a good example of how you don't, uh, you know, don't get everything you're expecting. Because I didn't notice this little slice here as well. So I'm going to have to burn an inch there and a three quarters of an inch here, a half inch here. That's an inch and a half that I don't know if I have. Because remember, the saw kerf is a... That's a thin kerf blade, so that's a little less than an eighth of an inch. But you know, every time you cut, every time you make a cut, you're losing the distance. here. Uh, I know I need a leg and an apron. My apron is what I'm more concerned about, the, the visual appearance. Um, so I'm going to get my, my apron out of here and I'm going to make it three and because uh, uh, I already have a nice rip here, I'm going to make it just over three inches. trust that. I always measure. Um, but right now it's pretty good at three and an eighth. So I'm going to go with three and an eighth. Put the edge you use to the fence. 
the edge of cut. adjustments and some changes. This is large apron one and he is just over three inches, three and a like three and a sixteenth, but literally he has a good glue line edge on both sides and we don't have to glue anything. So I took him closer than I wanted but uh, I, I don't have a lot of material here, so I kind of had to. So let's put him over here. He needs to be bucked down to the proper uh, length. Now we need two inches out of this board. And... <sighs> Alright, we've got to come out of this side. Um, what do we have? We have two and a half, so... And doing a glue up of the legs, I want to, uh, I want to keep as much as I can. So, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna rip it just a little bit. Three-eighths left here and I can get a leg out of here obviously you know this will be cut off this leg only needs to be 29 and a quarter inches so that's that's right here so realistically all of this will be gone I'll fill these and I'll fill that and I'll fill that that'll actually be showing but this leg will be on an inside piece I'm okay with that so we have a leg. And now guys, we just do it to the other uh, four boards. It's the same thing. Get your pieces cut out to their size slightly larger than what they'll be. I guess I can tell you this now, um, with our coronavirus problems going around here in the world, um, you know, I am stuck at home like a lot of us. I have decided I'm going to build this table in small increments of about 10 minute videos and try to get one out to you every day every two days at the least uh, since I am teleworking um, I am working and I'm grateful for that um, but you know I can't telework and build the table that has to be on my own time uh, but I have more time now because I'm not driving to work so I think I'll be able to get a video out at least every other day at about 10 minutes um, showing you each separate process of this build so this first process is bucking the lumber and that's what we're showing here so I'm going to continue that now. I'll probably film it all and fast forward pieces of it for you so you can see the other boards go through. You know, a little room for glue up. <coughs> you know, the other thing I do have, you know, this is the first time you've seen me really do a lot of work down here in this basement. I do have a air uh, handler that I run. It's actually right here above me. Um, the problem is I can't film with it. It makes a lot of noise. The minute I turn the camera off, I turn that on. You notice I cough a little bit. That's the dust in the air. I should be wearing my respirator, but it's also hard to do YouTube talking with the respirator. So uh, I apologize, but you'll hear me. Uh, you'll hear me hack up a little bit once in a while. That's the dust.
All right, so here we go, guys. Here we have three tops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. Two long aprons, two short aprons. So that's our table. That is rough butt, as we call it. Uh, the next video will be uh, actually milling this lumber down to actual sizes. So when we mill it to actual sizes, it's a little bit different. The aprons I will actually bring right down to their thickness and length perfectly in the first uh, milling attempt because there's no glue-ups with them. The legs and the, ape, uh, and the top, I'm going to leave a little bit long and a little bit wide on the legs because gluing, you know, gluing two legs together can make it slip a little bit. So we'll do that, but we'll get two sides pruned on those so that we can glue them together. The top, I'm just going to glue the top up as big as I can and then trim it up on the table saw to get it to size. But that's the next video. This is the end of this video. It probably went very long. I'm going to be fast forwarding through a lot of this. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this build. I figure we got about seven more videos uh, to get out at hopefully 10 minutes, but I bet you this one goes to 20 minutes. Um, and, uh, you know, that will be the table build. That may not be the table finish. That'll come up in a later episode, but I don't have any finish in the house right now, and I don't know if I can get any. So we may be doing the final episode of this at a later date when I can go get the proper finish I need. I just don't know if it's available right now with this whole weirdness going on. And with that, everybody, be safe out there. I'll see you in a couple of days with the next video. Thank you.